Hello everyone, my name is Becky Blackmore and I work for Oxford University Press, but I'm also a parent to three children and like you find myself in the position of supporting their learning at home. Luckily, their school, like yours, has signed up to my maths, so today I'm going to help you to support your children at home. I'll give you instructions on logging in remotely and then take you through step by step on how to complete homework set by your child's school and also opportunity for additional practice. So let's get started. Your teacher will now have given you login details for the site. If you have these ready, then you can walk through this with me as we go. The site that you need is mymath.co.uk and that will bring you to this screen here. You can click login in the top right hand corner and enter your school's username and password. That will then take you through to this page where you can enter your child's personal username and password. Their username is usually three numbers and their password three letters. You will then see their personal My Math page and their name will appear in the top right hand corner. This homework page shows the work that your child's teacher has set and you can click on a task to select it. To complete the homework, click Start Homework. You will notice that the button on the right says Try the Lesson. This will take you through to a practice area which I will show you in a bit. Every homework has two pages and your child must complete both pages in order to finish the homework. Work through the questions until they are complete and when they are all finished, click mark it when you are ready. Once you hit mark it, the answers will be locked in, so make sure that you are 100% happy at this point before you press the button. You'll be able to see which questions you got right and the correct answers for the ones that you got wrong. So now that we've completed page one, we need to go on and complete page two, and the process is the same. Once you've completed and are happy with all the answers, again, click mark it and the homework is complete. You can now choose to close the homework or have a look at your results. So let's have a look at our results. So you can see here the score that you got for each question, the overall score, and also a best score if you've had more than one attempt at the questions. So press finish and close to close the homework task. You're now back in the homework area. If there are any more tasks your teacher has set, then you can try these now. So, if your child gets stuck on a task, this is when we can go and try the lesson. The lessons can be used as practice before attempting a homework, or you can refer to them for extra support whilst completing a task. 
All of the lessons are set up in exactly the same way, so you begin by clicking on page one, and then use the next button to work your way through that page. Once you've come to the end of page one, you then repeat the process with page two and so on. If there are no homework tasks set by your teacher or you've completed them all, you can still use My Maths to keep your child's maths going at home. If you have a look at the scores page, You can see tasks that your child has done recently and the score that they achieved. They may need some more practice in areas and they can go in and try the lesson and make another attempt at the homework. They will click this button to try the homework again or this button to practice using the lesson. Another idea is to work on the times tables which are important in math and everyday life. And this can be done in the boosters page. If you go to the practice tab and then choose boosters, you will see listed times tables boosters. Click on the link and then you can either choose to do individual times tables or groups of whichever you think is most appropriate for your child at the time. I hope these hints and tips have helped you and your child to get the most out of using my maths. If you need any further support, please go to support.mymaths.com and select parent support. Thank you very much for listening.